Go. Yo, I can't make this up, man. Just yesterday, I made a tweet on Twitter. And I was saying, uh, I played in La Portel, this city, for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, not played in this city for 10 years, but I've been in France for 10 years. And I've never seen the sun in La Portel. A boulon sur mer. I've never seen the sun out here. Guess what? Today there's sun. Take me a little morning walk because I woke up a little too late. It's about 9.30. I wanted to get up about 8, but I overslept. I didn't set my alarm clock, but I feel well rested. So it don't even matter if I overslept, as long as I feel well rested. Like I said, I hate playing on these Sunday morning games or these Sunday games because my mornings are messed up. I have to eat lunch at like 11 o'clock, which is very uncomfortable for me, but hey man, it's the job. But today, feeling good. So the day is starting off good. I feel good. Uh, about to take a little morning walk, get some of this vitamin D, see if I can find like a bakery to get some croissants or something, put in my belly. But we're about to eat lunch in like an hour, so I don't wanna eat too much, don't wanna eat too heavy, but I'll probably take another nap around 12, just so that I can be very well rested to be ready and prepared for this game because on these Sunday games, sometimes it takes me a while to get going. And I'm not trying to have that be the case in there because we can't afford it while we're on the road. It's game day. I feel 100%. Let's go. couple games I haven't had no headphones and see this mic right way haven't had any headphones and haven't been in my mode but I was walking through the town and I seen this phone store had these these new style of headphones that actually don't even go in the ear so I wanted to try it out and I did like the test ride run in the store it sound pretty cool like 140 euros kind of expensive but they say they don't move and it's different from everybody else for some reason I like really being different than everybody else that's why I wear the Tatums because I don't see nobody in the league wearing the Tatums and uh everybody kind of got like the Apple headphones or the, the Apple pods so I'm going with this <laughs> now I'm about to get some uh some some croissants I seen a little bakery Stop there and I'm gonna go back to the hotel because it's sunny out, but still kind of cold. I've been walking for about 20 minutes. So, good morning. Good start to the morning. All right, so I actually made it back to practice on time. Man, I was just about to give me a croissant and a, a pen of chocolat. Um, and I wanted to start my morning off like that. But my coach called me and was like, yo, we got filming like a minute. I'm like, what? A minute? He's like, how far are you away? I'm like, I'm like five minutes. He was like, well, hurry up. And I just chucked it. I just started running. I made it down like two minutes. So I made it to film like maybe a minute late. 
pissed off about that because I, I like to be on time about things. But I just didn't see it. I didn't know that we had film. I didn't check my WhatsApp uh, ma uh, messenger to see that we had film. So that was kind of the reason I was late. But no excuses. You got to be a pro. The way we communicate as teams is we use the WhatsApp messenger. That's one place where everybody can be. And you have to be on point about it. And that's my fault. Uh, yeah, got to be better. Now we're about to eat lunch. Uh, I'll give you guys a little room tour right quick. It's the Hotel Ibis. So let's go. You got the bathroom here, right here to the right, as soon as you walk in the room. You got the bathroom. You got the toilet. You got the sink, my toiletry bag, shower, basic stuff. This looks like a place for your shoes or something. This is the bed. That's kind of hard, but it is what it is. I'm not... You know, I had a crazy morning, so bed's not fixed. You got the TV right here. Flat screen, about 19 inches. Um, look like a closet space back here. This is your desk. Beautiful view. Can't lie, a great view, especially with this great weather. This is amazing to start the day seeing this. I want to go sit down outside with those people, which I think I'll do after I take my nap this afternoon. Um, yeah, man, and... Right here, we got some water, sparkling water that the hotel gave us. The headphones I just bought, you know, some lotion. My boy Noe, he bought me like a goodie bag, uh, some fruits and stuff. He's very big on um, eating real foods. Got my face creams that I just bought. Yeah, so my boy Noe, he's really big on like face, um, face foods. He's really big on foods. He has a brand called Eat Well, Play Better. Wrote a book about, you know, a guide on how you guys should eat as an athlete or to help you guys eat as an athlete. He's a professional athlete, been a professional athlete for, I think, like 10 years. So he's really good with those type of stuff. He really focuses on eating whole foods and not processed foods. So I'll leave a link below to his ebook if you guys want to check it out. Charles Noel Abua is his Instagram. Eat Well, Play Better is his brand. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the the book in the description. But now I give you guys the room tour. It's time to eat some lunch. Wool up, wool up. Jesu! Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to break down a game, something i never done on a game day vlog. This is something I want to start doing so that you guys can get more immersed into the game. Let's start off by saying, man, these guys came out aggressive and on fire. You can tell they understood that this game was very important. We started the game off slow. We couldn't get open on the first possession, and here I am with a quick turnover. We couldn't really get open on the wing, and it slipped out of my hand. They came out making shot after shot. They were hot. We kept taking tough shots because they were being more aggressive than us and it forced us to settle. Here I am, I got a travel call on me. I was struggling all first half. Frustrated, I just couldn't get anything going. Our big man, who's currently playing like the MVP right now, got two quick fouls. So I ended up having to play some time at center. I finally got a shot to go down, faked the back door, ended up for an open shot. The first half was all for them though, man. Watch this shot that this guy knocked down in the half. Knocking down that shot to end of the half was huge. The crowd was going crazy and they had the momentum going into the half. Second half started off cool. Caleb came out and knocked down a three to start the second half. We switched up our defense to switching everywhere because we couldn't get any stops. So we tried everything we could. It worked out for a bit, but they quickly started to find solutions. We couldn't get rebounds because of the mismatches because that, that was tough. I finally got an easy basket. Ferrier was doing a good job of denying me all night. I decided to start moving a bit more and I got an easy backdoor layup. This got my energy flowing. 
Frank hurt his ankle, and you can tell he's not himself. This play, he's usually at the rim. He just couldn't explode. That's tough for us because Frank is our best scorer. Look at him, man. He in real pain. Frank is a winner, though, and he wanted to help us win, but you can see he's struggling here. Our next player, who is our most valuable player right now, Siobhan, started feeling it. Got him a post touch, and he kicked it back out to me for the three. I'm really starting to feel it now, too. Oh, yeah, I'm really starting to feel it now. I'm pushing it in transition. I'm really loosening up. Siobhan saved me with the offensive rebound, but the momentum is changing in our favor. Here we come, Siobhan getting it going. Anto with a big steal, he trying to flop. Get up, man. We ready now, you can see it in our eyes. We picking up full court, jumping to double team, speeding them up. I'm back in transition. Siobhan kick it out to Anto for another three. He was hot all night. Look at our energy, man. We ready to go. Yvonne hit this shot in my face and it was big, but it pissed me off and I wanted my revenge. We down 10 with five minutes left and it made this play. I said to myself, we have to act now. And then this happened. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> there was lit in there, man. Then Siobhan hit this shot and gave us some life. And something started to happen that didn't happen all night. They started to turn it over. And it was time to make them pay. I knocked down this three, and it got us down to four. I'm all the way in make them pay mode now. Let's go. As Soon as I got this touch, I had zero plans of passing this ball. It's time to make them pay. I felt him out, seen him drop his hands, and that's all I needed. Made him pay. Next play, steal, layup. We up by one. They turned it over again. The game was pretty much over after that. It was a great game, man. If you guys like me breaking down the game like this, let me know. It took a lot of time, but you guys are worth it. Just getting back, it's two in the morning. I'm exhausted. Oh, car is frozen. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't have nothing to unfreeze it. So I'm about to sit in here, see if I can heat it up. Man, the car is frozen. Shadow man. Long road trip, La Portellis, a very, very, very far place. <sighs> Got the W, big comeback. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, every day, make them pay so that one day you can live a true life. Bye.